hey guys and welcome back to yet another holiday video in this video i am going to do something a little different than what i'm used to this is a negative space eye makeup look and it turned out to be quite a challenge for me as you guys will see in this video let's start by prepping the skin i'm going to go with the aveeno positively radiant serum this stuff is super hydrating i love how it smells i love how it makes my skin feel and then this moisturizer from sukin or suckin mm, sukin sounds better <laughs> as a moisturizer this stuff is amazing as well since my skin is super dry i just lather this thing on Taking the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, I am going to prime my lids in preparation for the eyeshadow. I love to start with my eyes first, so like that I don't mess up my foundation as I go along with eyeshadow. The Becca Hydra Mist Setting Powder over that just to help the blending process be a little bit easier. Jumping into the Colored Rain Safari Rain Palette, I am going to take a pencil brush and I am going to basically create a guide um, right above my crease. I want to make my eyes look a little bit bigger and I'm just going to draw like the outline of where I want the eyeshadow to be placed. And then I'm going to take an even bigger pencil brush with a little looser um, brush and I am going to deepen the eyeshadow and create a little bit more depth and then another fluffier brush I am going to take the same shadow and just blend it out I learned that bringing my hand up and the brush facing down it makes the blending process a lot easier and a lot quicker as well then I'm going to take the shade Lioness and I am going to apply it all over my mobile lid with this concealer brush. I feel like that concealer brush works better with this type of eyeshadow. After that I am going to take a very small, I would say it's a lip brush to apply lipstick. It's very very small and very stiff and I am going to take my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer and I am going to basically create a clean line in between that clay shade and the lioness shade to create kind of like that cut crease look except it's creating a negative space so i am not going to be applying any eyeshadow in this space that i am creating it's just to kind of separate the two eyeshadows is a very tedious process as you can see here I want to create kind of like an eyeliner with the concealer but then I decided to go in and just remove the eyeshadow with a cleanse and wipe and this would definitely make the concealer pop out a little bit more as opposed to just placing it right on top of the eyeshadow so here I'm creating that eyeliner with the concealer and then after that, I am going to do my liner with my regular black eyeliner pencil, which proved to be a challenge for me. So this is my first time creating a look like this with the negative space. So I wanted to show you guys the good and the bad, basically. Um, like I said, it proved to be a challenge, uh, but practice makes perfect or practice makes progress better said so with my elf eyeliner here this eye was the easiest one I was able to create the wing with no uh, mistakes or anything like that um, I just basically followed the nude line that I drew and the wing came out perfect I didn't have to go and fix anything in this one but the next one was a bit of a challenge I started a little bit too low and the space in between the nude line and the black liner was wider than the first eye 
and as you can see right there I did my first mistake and after that everything just kind of went downhill um, so I had to basically erase the wing and do it a little bit higher than what I started with and eventually I got it I did have to make them a little bit thicker than what I started with because I made this one a little bit too thick so I had to make the other one a little bit thicker um, definitely definitely um, a challenge but I was like I'm not gonna give up I am going to do this and I did I was very happy with the result I have two eyes that have very different shapes like one crease is a little bit lower than the other crease and you know it's definitely always a challenge for me when it comes to trying to do very precise looks like these to kind of make them look the same but again it's a challenge that I'm willing to take now let's go ahead and move on to the face I'm going to go with the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and I'm going to apply this all over my face because I want my face to be luminous. I want you to be able to see it from the sky. And I'm going to, of course, um, blend it in with this Kabuki brush. <laughs> Jumping in with my tried and true L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundation. You guys know that this is my ish. I'm going to blend that out with the Kabuki brush. And as you can see, that Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter is coming through. It is doing what it has promised to do, which is to make my skin very luminous. Now let's go ahead and correct the under eye with the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer. You guys also know that this is my other ish. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with this Real Techniques brush, which for me is like the perfect brush for this under eye area. It gives it a very nice airbrushed look and you don't have to work too hard. But we're going to set it with the Becca Mist Powder which is a very light and airy powder. I really like this powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and set my forehead and my chin with that. You guys know the deal. Then I'm gonna go and do my eyebrows with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I love how it turns out. I hope you guys appreciate how quickly I do my brows. Now let's go to contouring. I am going to use the Natasha Denona Sculpting Powder in light. And I am going to sort of give myself a little contouring. Nothing too harsh, of course. Let's try and keep it soft. And then I'm going to go with the MAC Blush Ambering Rose. I really like this shade. It's It looks deep, but you know, with a soft hand, you kind of get the perfect blush for that. And this is an oldie, but a goodie. The Dose of Colors Desi X Katie Highlighter in Fuego. It was a favorite back then, and honestly, it still is a favorite right now. I love the glow that it gives. Let's get back to the eyes, and this time we're doing the under eye. We're going to take the shadow clay, and we are going to just go ahead and apply it to our lower lash line. And blend it out with a big fluffy brush. After that, we're going to take the Maybelline Tattoo Liner, the gel liner. I absolutely love this liner. It's so black, it's so easy to apply, and it doesn't go anywhere after it's applied. Lily Lashes. Let's jump into the lashes and finally finish off the eyes. This is the Lily Lashes in LA. And then this is also her liner, which at the same time is an adhesive. So you just apply a little bit on your lash line or you can do your actual liner with it but I just prefer to add it to my lash line and then just pop the shadow, I mean the lashes on and that's it. You're ready to go. Super quick, super easy. I love it. I'm all about wearing lashes now because it's so easy. Now to finish off the look, let's move on to the lips. 
I am going to take the MAC lip pencil in hover and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and then I'm going to use this new product that I have from Dose of Colors. It's the liquid matte in on repeat. That's the name of the shade on repeat. And we are going to go ahead and finish off the look with that. I love how it turned out. As you guys can see, it was definitely a challenge for me, but I hope you guys enjoyed the process and thank you so much for joining me in creating this look. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Bye.